A lot of patients will ask me, well, what makes me a candidate or can I be a candidate? So what most patients do is they'll come in for an examination or a free consultation. And there's a few examinations and there are a few instruments that we use to determine whether you're a candidate or not. A lot of times we need to go over your medical history, we need to go over your medication history, we need to go over your ocular history, whether you've had any history of trauma. After we do that, then we do a general eye exam. During this eye exam, we check the cornea. Then the cornea is the front of the eye, and the cornea is where all the action takes place, so to speak, when you have LASIK surgery. LASIK surgery, unlike cataract surgery, is not a surgery that we actually go inside the eye. LASIK surgery is done on the surface of the eye. So we do a lot of measurements. There are a lot of pictures we take, such as pictures that give us a topographical representation of your cornea, which gives us the corneal thickness, it gives us any irregularities in your cornea that we need to look for, and it gives us an idea of where your prescription is. Now there are certain irregularities that we do find in your cornea that may disqualify you from getting LASIK surgery. At the same time, we're also looking at what your prescription is. Do you have a very high prescription? Uh, how much astigmatism you have? And for the most cases, in most cases, given your prescription, most patients are candidates, but we also look for a stable prescription. If you have a prescription that's fluctuating from year to year, that gives us an indication that we'd probably monitor you until we source stability in your prescription. If your prescription is stable, then that gives us an idea that we can probably move forward. So basically, there are certain conditions that we look for when we're evaluating someone for LASIK surgery. Um, there is a certain condition of the cornea called keratoconus. And what keratoconus is, basically is the cornea, the front part of your eye, is unstable. The level of astigmatism continues to worsen as a patient goes throughout their 20s and 30s. That is a patient that you unfortunately cannot perform LASIK surgery on because it will be unsuccessful and you can potentially damage the cornea further. When someone comes in for an evaluation, the evaluation could take anywhere from half an hour to an hour. It's important that we get all the testing done and uh, during that time, you'll do the testing, you meet with the doctor, and the doctor will answer all your questions. If anyone wants to come in for a free consultation or an evaluation, they contact us. They'll be in, they'll be in contact with uh, one of our LASIK coordinators. Our LASIK coordinators will schedule them for a free evaluation with either me or one of the other surgeons, and then they'll have the evaluation then. And then by the end of the evaluation and discussion, they'll know if they're a candidate for LASIK. Thank you.